That means that you can build stable coins on board of tokens that don't necessarily have that big of liquidity and mitigate that risk. Egram is built from the lessons learned on the Ethereum L2 experiment, meaning all gas in Egro will be paid either in Passbook or ICAS, which is a wrapped version of Caspa. What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the matrix, scoping out the crypto ocean. So if you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, today we're diving into a groundbreaking topic, how Igra Labs is revolutionizing roll-ups on the Casper network with cutting-edge technology, atomic programmability, and unmatched speed. Igra Labs is setting a new standard for DeFi and decentralized applications. Stay tuned as Maya Sehavi breaks down how this groundbreaking protocol is reshaping the crypto ocean. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Before we start, Crypto Crew, always remember to keep your crypto investments safe. Practicing self-custody is key, especially during the 2025 bull run. And in my personal opinion, the Tangent Wallet is your best option. Plug and play, easy to use, and the most affordable cold storage, in my opinion. So if you wish to order your Tangent Wallet today, you can get 10% off using code CRYPTOCREW. Check out the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance. And may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all. So let's get in today's video. Igra Labs explained by Maya Sahavi. Shout out to Cliff Choi for this recording. We are building the first one contracts on Casca in order to create an opportunity for developers to build a DeFi app and dApps that weren't possible until now. What is Ebra? We're based roll-up on Casca. And this presentation is gonna to explain to you why Ebra is really the only design we have seen of a base roll-up on Casca and not one that piggybacks on the Casca community. Ebra is really essentially using the Casca block dApp as a sequencer and for settlement in order to introduce for developers the possibility to have atomic programmability. And that will enable us to see new primitives ingrained within one ZK-based rollup that we haven't yet seen in communication in one singular workflow within an L1. We have seen Ethereum and Solana and try and deal with the biggest problems that they have, and that is the trilemma, right? How do you scale in a decentralized fashion that is still secure? And as Ethereum has evolved, we have seen more and more L2s, but those L2s don't necessarily use the L1 properties ingrained within Ethereum, or the base layer as we call it, right? There's a misalignment rooted in the fact that those L2s use a multi-sig bridge and don't have the same intel incentives as the L1 token. And that resulted in a lot of liquidity fragmentation and an attempt to slice and dice the different features that a blockchain really has, right? And if we were to break it down, what we see is that you need data availability, execution, uh, sequencing, and consensus. And the existing L2s in the ecosystem only use the security of an L1. And then the Ethereum community introduced the concept of a base rollup. However, the one problem of a base rollup is that it always rolls up to the minimum viable constraint that dictates what this speed and what is possible. A base rollup is one that uses the L1 both for sequencing for settlement and for consensus. What we are looking to do in EGRA is both sequence and settle and scale out the consensus form CASPA to an EVM layer, which is CASPA, sorry, which is EGRA. We are going to try and scale up where our limitations are based on the speed of the block DAG sequencing, i.e. CASPA. Because right now, CASPA is on track to become the fastest world sequencer after um, the introduction of Crescendo in Maine. This is a basic scheme of how Eager Labs 
kind of is going to work, right? You're going to have users send transactions both to the L1 TASPA for sequencing and then be able to confirm the state transition within EGRA nodes. What is EGRA? We're an atomically programmable EVM chain that is a base rollup. And we have four basic pillars that navigate how we're progressing and what we're building. That is sequencing using CASPA. Right now, in the initial rollout of our mainnet, we're going to be settling on CASPA. But as we scale up, we will enable settlement on any ZK chain. We are going into a real-time settlement world for high performance as more and more institutional trade by uh, are looking into using blockchains and crypto. The validity and the consistency of different state transitions between different logic zones, as we heard in the previous uh, panel, are going to be um, validated and verified through CASPA as a base layer. Due to us building on CASPA, we ultimately inherit a Bitcoin grade field of proof of work security that is second only to Bitcoin. I don't know if uh, there are any builders in the room, but for those who are, just so you know, we are launching our DevNet and uh, it's going to enable any EVM DAB working on Solidity to launch on uh, Ingra. Five properties that you don't see in any L2 today that is EVM compatible or on, on other quantity based rollups. One, Bitcoin rate security inherited from the L1. Two, real time fast performance. Because of the, uh, the speed of TPS, we are able to be MEU resilient for any trade by or real world assets looking to create DeFi app on us. We're going to be able to offer DAPs. Synchronous atomic, co atomic composability, or what I call atomic programmability. What can you build with that, right? That's where it gets exciting. If you're familiar with DeFi, you know, stable coins and perpetual markets and so forth. However, they're all constrained by the amount of liquidity that you have at the base asset. The minute we'll have asynchronous communication within one logic zone, we'll be able to offer on-chain decks or claws order books that are able to fulfill orders and trades within one single block. That means that you can build stable coins on board of tokens that don't necessarily have that big of liquidity and mitigate that risk. Why? Because it was going to enable DeFi apps to build risk engines, the kind that were only available in traditional finance, but didn't have that possibility due to the latency in block settlement. Ingram Labs is a project that is based in two different phases. One, we're going to have a base rollup, the one that we're launching in Q2, an incentivized testnet that is non-ZK. And that is due to the fact that Casper doesn't have the ZK verification opcode at this time. And our goal when we're building this, we want to be proof of market. We want to be able to offer builders the possibility to start building, launching, and experimenting with Inigra. Our first priority is building. Then, when we're going to have ZKVM, we're going to be able to have a phase two of a ZK-based rollup on top of CASPA. We expect that to happen by Q4, launch in Q1 of 26. This is a list of some of the partnerships that we already have. But if you're a builder, you're DAP, you're DAP, and you're curious how these features can integrate into what you want to build, please reach out and talk to us. We're going to have a very specific uh, design for the Ingra nodes, meaning, yes, we will have a token. That token is not for gas. Ingra is built from the lessons learned on the Ethereum L2 experiment, meaning all gas in Ingra will be paid either in Casper or ICAS, which is a wrapped version of Casper. However, we will need a token in order to secure the Ingra nodes that validate the different state transition. And for that, we are also reaching out to miners, mining pools, 
Anyone who has CASPA and wants to participate, if you hold a note in CASPA and you want to participate in eGrow, please talk to us. I think it's also important to state out that as in crypto, every token has a function other than the utility, and we are building for the community. Those tokens, the eGrow token, will also be a governance token or a separate DAO coming in to let the community take part in all the changes and the roadmap ahead of us. Crypto Crew, as you've seen, Igra Labs is the direct answer to what Maya Sahavi calls Ethereum's failing layer 2 experiment. And you can watch a vid on Ethereum's current existing problems here. But Casper is about to launch revolutionary stuff even after the 10 blocks per second upgrade. If you are excited about the future of DeFi and innovation on the crypto ocean, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Proof of all things, hold fast that which is good. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.